it's Willie from Sonic Expansion back with another quick tutorial for Machine Masters. This time we'll be working with Massive inside of Machine. I'll be going over how to make a wide choir patch that you can use in your production. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. So first thing I want to do is I want to set up my oscillators. We'll be using the Formant Square oscillator. We're going to pitch this up by 0.16. We're going to be also using the formant square on oscillator 2. We want to cut the amp up. And we're going to pitch this one down by 0.17. On oscillator 3, we'll also be using formant square. Turn our amp up. And we're going to pitch this up by 12. All right, now. We're going to set all of our wavetable positions over to the right max. And we're going to set all of our intensities all the way to the left. Okay, now that produces this. So we're really already close to getting to where we want to get to. Now we're going to go to the voicing. We're going to use unison at two. And I always just max these out just in case you want to use a large number of notes in your chords. So. All right. So we got a max of 64. Then we're going to. Notch this over. Cut it on. And we're going to use 0.17. Right there. Now we're going to set our key tracking. And we're going to scroll our key tracking all the way up. All right, now we're going to cut on the pan position. And we're just going to move it to where it's right under the mono. So that's pretty nice right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use a chorus ensemble. And we'll pretty much just turn the wet up a little bit. Sorry about that. Let's cut that back down so it doesn't peak as much. All right, now we want to make it a little bit wider, so we're going to use a dimension expander here. Cut the size up a little bit and turn our wet. Right, now let's work with our envelope for our amp. We're going to turn the attack up and give it just a tad bit of decay and a little bit more of the level. Now we're going to round that off a little bit more using the effects inside of machine. First, we're going to put a grain delay on. Move this out of the way. And we're going to pitch the grain delay up to 12. We'll leave the size where it's set. Give it a little bit of jitter and maybe a little bit of space. We'll bring the mix knob down and we have...
All right, now let's finish it off with a little bit of reverb. Move massive out of the way. We're gonna use a nice hall reverb for this. Push the reverb time up a little bit and just a tad bit more on the room size. Bring our mix down a little bit. And there you have it, a nice little synthetic choir patch that you can use in your production. This has been Willie from Sonic Expansion with a Machine Masters tutorial. As always, hit the like button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe.